Hello and welcome to Minecraft Reality TV, the first showing of the server to both the viewers and all of our contestants. I'm going to give you a little bit of background history on the MRTV project and also I will be setting challenges in there for the contestants to keep up with during the course of the show. I'm going to try and give the contestants all the information they need, showing them where they need to be, where they need to go, where the challenges are going to be set, and what I'm going to be expecting of them. I'm also going to be explaining the big board of evictions. We'll also see where the contestants will be living, how they survive, how they complete the challenges, and how they live together is for the contestants to decide. Who gets evicted is for you to decide. <laughs> Okay, I don't want to bore you with all the details, but I said something crazy in a chat and said that I would never speak of it again because it was a stupid idea. Since then, we have done nothing but speak about it. We wanted something different, something a bit original. What about a Big Brother house full of YouTubers? And if you don't know what Big Brother is, well, it's a reality TV show, but we needed contestants for that. So we decided to find out if anyone was interested. We are inviting, we are extending the invitation to all YouTubers to come and join us in this new project. What we are looking for, we are looking for contestants to star in the reality television show. And that really did get the ball rolling. We were amazed by the fantastic amount of responses in a short time. My name is Dudot, aka Louie. Hello, um, this is Gaskell. My name is Greg King, I'm 19 years old. Hey guys, it's Brocky Artist here. Hello there, Michael Colin. Strange Gecko here. Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Ross Game. Hey guys, I'm Banter. Hi guys, Eric the Yellow here. Hello, hello, hello. I'm Harris. My name is Hydrofire593. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andrew. I'm... Hi there, I'm Wolf of Gods or Cooler Cooler. What's up everyone, it's everyone here, and today I'm applying for the MRTV. Hey, what's going on guys, Cray, back again. I am Blackheart Down, your glorious friend. Hello everybody, I'm Mighty Hope here again. Hi guys, Mike129 here, and welcome to a uh, application for MRTV. Hello, and welcome to the Octavian crew. Sup guys? Hey guys, I'm 24 Fits, and I'd like you to review my application for the MRTV. Hey folks, Mighty Green Giant here, yet again. All those great responses in just a couple of days. Now we're ready to begin. The contestants are ready. The presenters are ready. Everybody is eager to get things underway. But I have just one or two things still to make sure everybody's clear on before I give them the IP address and we start the show. So please, pay attention. Well, to start off with, this is Spawn. All you have to do when you get to Spawn, because you can't get out of Spawn, is to step over onto the pressure plate. And when you step on it, you teleport down to underneath the eye. Let me explain a few things from my point of view. I am Nemson. And I will be setting the challenges and keeping the contest fair throughout your 20 weeks of Season 1 of MRTV. These areas that I'm exploring right now for you are the workstations. The workstations are a 16 by 16 chunk. That's including the half slabs around the outside. Glowstone lit with half slabs to make sure that mobs are not spawning in this area while you're working. Workstations have a double chest and a crafting table built in. Any challenge that I set you where it is something to do with building or creating something must be done within these parameters, within this 16 by 16 chunk in your area. Now the board here we have 20 contestants and if the contestant is evicted the lamp is off 
We have our contestants listed below. These are now the 20 that we have accepted. There may still be reason to change one before we actually start the show. Who knows? Uh, everybody has their name and underneath that their YouTube channel name. So if you want to subscribe to find out what they're doing in the show, links will be in the description as well as that as a nice easy reminder of who you want to be watching. Minecraft class, the style of play. We've left this open so that contestants as they arrive can choose their class and put up one of the signs underneath their name to say which class they have picked. Well, it would be unfair of me to set challenges that involve redstone engineering to some people who don't have any redstone knowledge at all or any interest in redstone. And it would be uh, unfair of me to challenge PvP dueling if only a few of the players actually like PvP. So I have broken down my challenges into classes of challenge. And if you believe that this is your style of play, and you are a hunter, likes to slay monsters, likes to explore, and is very adventurous, the hunter would be the PvPer. The gatherer class, mining, farming, and being organized. The collector, the gatherer of resources. The builder, they build epic structures, they use visual textures between two blocks to make a huge difference in their builds and they can build with practicality as well and finally we have engineers who in the redstone update may be the ones that get the most significant challenges with all the new redstone technology so contestants when you arrive you will be coming from the eye above at spawn teleported down below into the playing area your world now apart from this area around spawn that above and this sign here there is very little that we have done to the world so when you sign on to the server for the first time come over here take a sign have a quick recap on the classes hunter gatherer Builder, Engineer, and place your sign below your name on the big board to say which class you pick. That will be your class for the rest of your time in the competition. If you do not use Hunter, Gatherer, Builder or Engineer, you will be deemed a Rebel and I will have special challenges for Rebels. If you want to be a rebel, you will be up for eviction week one. However, everybody else who picks a class will avoid eviction week one. Because week one, we want you to settle in. Week one, we want you to find your place here. So you'll enter through the tunnel, exit onto the little jungle island. This is where 4D has carefully placed a few hidden cameras and also made sure that there is a space for you to use as a diary room. Aside from the bridge, nothing has been touched outside of this area. And aside from this bridge over here, nothing has been touched in the desert. So as a group, your first challenge set by me is to survive to build a community to gather your resources and be ready for future challenges